All right, this is a video over the probability of just picking balls out of a bag. So if you could just randomly pick balls out of a bag, what would they be? So what's if we were to just stick our hand in there and pick out one, so we just randomly picked out one, it could either be red, blue, or green. So it could be red, blue, or green. And I have that somewhere, so it could be red, blue, or green. There we go. Now, let's say if I pulled out the red one first. That would mean that there would be blue or green left in. So blue or green. So then it could be blue or green. So if I picked out the blue one, then the only one remaining would be the green. If I picked out the blue one, the only one would be remaining, and that would be green. So this is one option. So let's instead say I pulled out the green next, and then pulled out the blue. Now we have two options. Two options. So I could have pulled out pink, blue, green, or pink, green, blue. And the next one's the same idea. I could have pulled out the blue first, and then the green, and then the pink, or the blue first, then the pink, then the green. So now we have a third option, or a third outcome, and a fourth outcome. And the last one's still the same idea. So we could have pulled out the green first, and then the blue, and then the pink. That could have been the fifth option. And then we could have pulled out green, pink, blue, and be our sixth option. So there are actually a total of six options. So the outcome of saying, let's say you want to pull out blue, green, pink, well, this is one option out of six. So that's a one option out of the total six. So that probability is one and six. And now I want to show you a different way of actually calculating, instead of drawing it out like this, how to actually calculate it. What we do is we say, well, the first, we have three balls we can pick out, pick out of. So we have three balls we can pick out of, three. Then we multiply it by the number of balls we can pick next, which is two. Two. Then we multiply it by the last ball we can pick, which is one. And that is equal to six. And what we do, we call this the factorial. We give it a little symbol like that, just an exclamation mark. We call that the factorial. So if we wanted to find, let's say we had ten balls, and I'll just draw those really, or I'll draw them, try to draw them really quick. We could say, so we have pink, this one, that one, white. Uh, that's the color I've already used, that one, maybe a brighter pink or purple. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the total number of outcomes we could have from this? Well, all it is is, well, the first time we pulled them out of the bag, the first time we were to pull them out of the bag, we put our hand in there and just pulled one out, that's seven. So there could have been seven different balls we could have pulled out. Seven different balls. Then, if we stuck our hand in again, we'd only have six balls we could pull out. And then if we kept doing it, we would only have five, four, three, two, one. So, yes, one. So that is equal to seven exclamation mark or just the factorial of 7. And most calculators actually have that function on TI-83s. I don't have that on here, I don't think. No, I don't think I do. What's that do? No. Let's say we have 7. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is equal to 5,000. So there are 5,000 different ways, 5,000 different ways of pulling out the ball. Actually, what was it? 5,040 different ways of pulling out the ball. 5,040. 40. So what's the probability of pulling out this ball first, then this ball, then this ball, and then this ball, then this ball, then this ball, then this ball? Then this ball? Well, that is just 1 in 5,400 because we want this one outcome out of the total of 5,040 possible outcomes. It's just the same way. You could do the same thing that we did right here. You could draw them out each like this, except you'd have 5,040, which is really unmanageable. Unman so, and that's actually why you have this factorial right here. It's so you don't have to write 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. And it reoccurs a lot, so that's also why we, we do it, because it just it reoccurs so often over and over again. Now, let's say we wanted to find, let's say we could pull out 
four balls. So we just pulled out four random balls. So how would we actually find that? Well, we could do it one way. If we were to pull out four random balls, we have our first choice has seven balls. Then our next one, we have six balls out of our choice, five and four. So if we pulled out four balls, we'd have a total of, a total of how many? Seven times six times five times four, a total of 840 different outcomes. 840 different outcomes. And there's actually another way of writing this. We could have just wrote it as seven factorial three factorial factorial. So if we took 5,040, if we took 5,040, 5,040, divided it by 3 times 2, which is just 6, we would get 840. So that is equal to that. So what we can do instead is, let's say we had n number of balls. We have n number of balls. So that means we have n factorial number of outcomes. Let's say we instead and I'm going to actually write that down here a little bit. So we would get n factorial, n factorial, divided by n minus the number of things we're going to pick. So if we were only going to pick 4, we would put 4 here. So we're just going to put p, p for this. And then we take the factorial of that, factorial of that. So let's test that. We have 7 factorial, all divided by 7 minus, we just chose four balls, four, and then we take the factorial of that, so that's just seven factorial over, over three factorial, and that's just what we have up there. So let's do it a little bit differently. Let's say, let's say we have, let's say we have, oh, just draw some out real quick, stars. Let's say we have that star, that star, um, uh, those look the same. Now let's say we are going to pick out just two of these different stars, two of these different stars. So. So we're going to pick out two of these different stars. So we can just randomly select any of these, and we're going to pick out two of them. So we're just going to randomly grab out two. So we would say we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five stars. So n is five. So the factorial of five is a total number of possible outcomes if we were to pick them all out, divided by, divided by five minus the pick number. So how many are we going to pick? We're just going to pick out two. And then we take the factorial of that, and that is equal to, so that's just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all divided by, all divided by, see that's just 5 minus 2 is just 3, so that's 3 times 2 times 1, so that cancels there, that cancels there, and that cancels, so that's just 5 times 4. Now does that make sense? So our first pick could be any of the 5, so that makes sense of our five, and then we take out one. So if we were to take out one randomly, and then we'd have four to choose from. So that makes sense. So there are a total of 20 possibilities when we pull out just two out of the total of five.